Hi there folks, my name is Bradley Greger and I have created a new sci-fi fan video series. It's going to be showing up on YouTubes and uh, hopefully I've got some great things to show you guys. Uh, today is April 10th, it's Thursday, it's a wonderful spring day here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, lots of sunshine outside, hope to get outside, do a little running today and uh, you know, have some fun. So uh, a couple of things that I'm going to cover today just to get us started is uh, Captain America. Went out and saw that uh, just yesterday in fact. And then also the, uh, the new Oculus Rift and uh, what it means now that uh, Facebook has acquired them. So the plan in the future is to also have some special guests show up. Uh, you know, so I've got some planning and logistics that I'm working out here for the future episodes. And so look for that uh, you know, in the next week or so when the next video comes out. My plan is to generate these videos and have them available by Friday of every week. So, you know, four, maybe sometimes five shows a month as a result of that. And uh, definitely looking forward to hanging out with you guys and talking about science fiction, science, technology, gadgets, you know, everything smart and nerdy and stuff like that. Um, so, without further ado, let me switch on over and we'll get started on the first segment. So I went for a walk yesterday and uh, ended up over at the movie theater and remembered that I hadn't seen Captain America The Winter Soldier yet. So I popped on in and it was a nice little afternoon and figured, hey, what the heck, why not, right? Um, and I was holding off on watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is you know one of the Marvel TV shows that's going on right now, and they had mentioned on their Facebook page that I uh, should not be watching the show until I'd seen the movie. So I figured, yeah, just another reason why I should watch the movie. So watched it and thought it was great. Uh, as far as the, you know, the action scenes and all that stuff, I mean, that's usually why I see uh, a lot of these movies is you know just watching all the the fancy, you know, lights show like explosions stuff like that. Like I totally dig that stuff. Um, on the flip side, I also really enjoy the story, and I was really kind of um, confused about a few things. Uh, the biggest thing uh, is, you know, somebody who's one of my favorites is uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yes, please. May we have another? Oh, wait, no, may we have one at all? Um, you know, they continually throughout the movies that Marvel has been releasing over the last few years, like, they talk about her backstory and, you know, some of this mystery and stuff, but yet we haven't seen an actual movie with Black Widow. Uh, she seems like such a major player and it sucks that she's playing second fiddle to all these other, you know, great char characters in the Marvel Universe and yet doesn't have her own movie. Um, I do have to give props to Scarlet for the fact that she's got, you know, this new movie Lucy coming out in which she gets to showcase you know, what she would be like as that kind of a, you know, super smart, able-bodied, somebody who can take care of stuff, badass kind of a character. Um, I'm just wondering, like, okay, Marvel, when are you going to step up? And, uh, you know, I mean, shoot, just do it already. Um, I haven't checked the rumor email yet. I'm sure there's rumors out there about, you know, a movie and stuff, and I haven't looked on the Googles to see if, you know, that's what's happening with her, but as of this point, my opinion was, like, I was kind of let down, um, just based on the storyline from uh, Captain America 2. It was like, shoot, you've got this amazing character, and you're really not, you're just wasting time with her, and it's really unfortunate. Um, but as far as uh, Captain's, you know, relationships with people and, and how he's getting along now, um, it's nice to see some development with that, and uh, without giving you any spoilers, like, you know, what he has to go through in this movie, it's pretty kind of gut-wrenching in a way, and so because of that, I would recommend it, because it really gives, you know, a lot more human feel to all these superhero, you know, types, and uh, one of the reasons that I think science fiction has been so popular in Marvel characters recently is because they make they make these superhero heroes human and they, they really make them somebody that you can identify with and actually you know you get some of the emotions and the feelings that they go through because yes after all they are just human too despite all of their you know super powers or super smarts or you know advanced whatever 
Um, and I think that's one of the reasons that geeks and, and nerds really love science fiction is because they get to identify with that and take it on as their own. So, uh, that being said, uh, go see Captain America, The Winter Soldier. It's my recommendation. So, recently I had the opportunity to try out the uh, developer version of the Oculus Rift. Uh, if you haven't heard of such a thing, the Oculus Rift is a virtual reality headset that plants like on your head, your face, and it gives you kind of a full immersion kind of experience when it comes to, you know, video, visual stuff, uh, whether it's movies or games or other programs, we don't even know yet like how it's all going to turn out, but there are a lot of ideas and it's something that I'm really excited for for the future just in terms of you know, it's one of those things that, you know, I experienced many years ago, uh, you know, as a teenager, and it was this big, giant, bulky, almost helmet kind of a thing, and, you know, these days we've gotten it down to something very small and lightweight, and it's on the verge of, you know, having a, a retail release, like being out on the market, and having it at a level and capability that really is going to be something that I think a lot of people pursue, especially uh, with the power of, you know, the computing technology that we have today and the ability to use it with a variety of devices, not just your computer anymore, but with Blu-ray players for movies or even like your cell phone or your, you know, your Android tablet or something where you can get in and be immersed in a virtual world and be able to do, you know, all sorts of fun stuff, whether it's games or development, um, you know, collaboration works, stuff like that. All sorts of art and music, I think, is going to become available as a result of what we can generate in virtual reality. And so having, you know, high quality headphones along with the set and everything, it's really going to be pretty cool. And uh, one of the ways that it actually is interesting to see, like, what's coming to fruition out of these folks, like, what their efforts in development and stuff is, uh, there's a book called Ready Player One that I read for my sci-fi book club recently, and uh, it's interesting because it, I think it talks about 2014 being the release of, you know, the, the hardware, the, <clears throat> the virtual reality headset that allows people access to something called Oasis. And Oasis is like the internet online, but virtual reality, and it allows people, you know, a lot more freedom to do all sorts of things like I was just talking about. And, uh, you know, in the book, the, the main player who ends up, you know, going through all these trials and tribulations and so on to, to do everything, it's just interesting to, to know, like, how many people out there have read the book, which was written several years ago, <clears throat> and they're now making these, you know, parallels between, like, the fact that Facebook just bought the company that is producing the Oculus Rift and like there's this whole collaboration of big money and high-tech you know gadgetry and is it going to bring us into this virtual world kind of like what the Oasis is inside of the book with Ready Player One. Um, there's a lot of pushback as well because again of that big money, the corporate money which is kind of one of the major themes in the book Ready Player One is fighting corporatism fighting, you know, this whole, like, having ads everywhere, which is what we're seeing in video games these days. You know, you're seeing these virtual billboards up in the game, and it's displaying some ad for, like, you know, some sort of pop, or, you know, food, or, you know, McDonald's, or something like that. And, you know, we see that in real life, and we don't think much of it, but suddenly when it's in our virtual life, we as uh, gamers tend to be resistant to that because we're going into the game to escape, so to speak, the, the real life. We don't want to see all the crap and the reminders of, you know, like what this is. We want to live in a fantasy and so I think that's what people are getting at is that it's this, the pristine world of an, in, of an invented world, of a game world, is now being distorted by reality again which is really a strange, you know, thing to think about when you get down to it. The, the dichotomy of having reality intrude on your virtual reality. And uh, I think it's really, it's amusing as well as disappointing all at once. And it's like, how do, 
you know, we come to terms with all of that, and how do we how do we keep our, uh, you know, this open nature of what games are, and yet they are still very very controlled circumstances and rules based and everything in order for them to to work and and to be successful. So, um, needless to say, I can't wait to see the Oculus Rift in its final, you know, retail form and, and be able to get my hands on one and, and use it for many of the games that I play, whether they be strategy games, uh, simulators like flight simulators or, you know, Mech Warrior where you're, you're hulking around in a giant robot shooting at other giant robots, um, and things of that nature, being able to watch a movie and have this expansive kind of feeling of immersion where you're, you're right there in the world with the characters. And, um, and even, you know, because of what virtual reality provides, we'll see something akin to, you know, the, the first kind of holodeck, if you will, where you'll be able to participate in a movie as a character or as an operator within that movie. And it will take that immersive experience of storytelling to a whole nother level. And it's really exciting. Definitely looking forward to it. And uh, I would really love to hear back from you guys, uh, my viewers. What do you think of this whole thing with Oculus Rift coming forward, um, with Facebook buying them? Uh, what are the competitors? Uh, I've seen a couple others out there. I'm not going to mention them right now because I want to give you guys a chance to respond and, and, you know, talk about these things. So go ahead and post it. Uh, I'll have availability on my YouTube channel. You can leave comments. Uh, we'll have a Facebook page set up pretty soon. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to virtual reality and how it's going to make everything just, my opinion, more awesome. All games, movies, all of it. It's going to be fantastic. <clears throat> all right, so there you have it, folks. That is the end of the show. Um, you know, just to kind of wrap up, uh, Captain America, I do recommend seeing it if you're uh, any kind of action superhero fan. Uh, I do enjoy the, the Marvel Universe. Uh, a whole lot. I'm not a comic book reader. It's really weird to say that, but uh, having seen the movies that I've seen that Marvel's released, um, I've just I've really enjoyed the storyline and you know where they're going with things. I do have questions about certain things because I'm just left a little confused by some of the story elements that they've used. But you know what? I'm willing to stick along for the ride because it's been pretty fun and it's been good so far. So yeah, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Really enjoyed it, and uh, looking forward to the next installment. Um, as far as you know, the Oculus Rift, yes, cool gadget. Uh, I had a lot of fun, you know, playing the game that I played. Uh, there are actually two games. There was a helicopter simulator, and I got to you know land a helicopter on the the helipad. And then the other one was in space. It was on a moon, and I ended up collecting a couple of things on the moon and then that took me up into space and this weird fractal pattern stuff and it was really weird just to be like looking all over the place like your head is going like this because you're looking at so many things that are just really amazing in the virtual world and you know what it's going to be a great future I'm totally looking forward to it so get out there uh, you know check these things out if you haven't already um, and give me feedback I, I want to hear what you guys think about all this stuff and uh, so, you know, like and share this on whatever social media you use, Facebook, Twitter, that sort of thing. Um, speaking of Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter. I am Sci-Fi Bradley. Go ahead and use my full name there. And uh, also here on YouTube. And then Facebook, I plan on getting a page up if it's not already up by the time this video shows up. And it will just be a, a Sci-Fi Bradley fan page. And again, look forward to seeing you guys every Friday. Uh, Sci-Fi Fan Friday is the plan for these videos, and uh, leave me comments, suggestions, uh, what books you think I should be reading next. Uh, I just read The Giver once again. I read it back many years ago, and uh, for Sci-Fi Book Club, we chose a short little book, which was The Giver, and then the next book is Cryptonomicon, which I've heard of by reputation. I'm looking ready to, to dive into that, but it's also apparently a long book, so we're going to take a couple months to read that one. But in the meantime, uh, we still have a lot of fun uh, with a lot of my friends talking about sci-fi and, and those sorts of things. So I hope to bring some of them here for you guys to see and meet. And uh, we'll have some really lively discussions, I'm sure. So thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, play. Have fun. Be safe at the same time. Do whatever you want. Yeah. All right. I'll see you later.